Today's video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Manscaped hooked me up with a bunch of tools and formulations and they're all in one performance package kit. Oh, that is so satisfying. Woohoo! Beautiful packaging. Oh my goodness. Wow. This right here is the new Lawn Mower 3.0 and I am unbelievably excited to try this out. It's got the waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology which reduces nicks and cuts. Manscaped even created this ball deodorant called the Crop Preserver. And a ball toner spray. This is a game changer. Woohoo! This is the Weed Whacker. <laughs> My nose hair grows like a caveman so this comes in handy. And don't think for a second, Manscaped forgot about your toes and nails. That's where the Shears 2.0 comes in. Oh, that's like a, a magnet. Look at this. I mean, their packaging and product is next level. For a limited time, you can get all of this plus two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping. Plus two free gifts using my promo code CUFF20 at manscaped.com. Your balls and body will thank you. What is going on, Kferos? Welcome back to another video. Today, starting off here in front of the 4,000 gallon pond, and although we are going to do something over there. Three, four, five, six. Here it goes, lifting up the sod. This Pleco right here, you can literally see it. Thank goodness he likes to stay in one spot because he hasn't done it anywhere else. But right there on the side of the pond, he has sucked the paint, I mean, right off the wall. It's a giant Titan Pleco. He's literally sucked that much paint off the wall and he's on it right now doing the exact same thing. He's a beast and I did not know he was gonna be able to do that. When I bought him, I bought him because it was dope and I wanted a big Pleco, not because I thought his strength was so strong that it would suck the paint off the wall. Insane. So the first thing we need to do today is actually get him out of the pond. It's gonna be a challenge. Bring him to Predatory Fins. We're actually picking up a different fish at Predatory Fins. They've already got bagged up, set, ready for us to pick up. You guys are gonna absolutely love this fish. The other Plecos that are in this pond are like the smaller ones, you know, like that. And they don't have that power to be able to suck the paint off the wall. But I mean, is that just not crazy? Like. What? So thankfully I still have this big old net. That's what I'm gonna get him with. All right, Kaferos, it's time. I got my three river bands, a massive bag, the exact bag it actually came with. An elusive catfish. Oh, he got away. Oh, he's got him, boys. Ready, set. We didn't get wet. That was the main goal, not to get wet. <coughs> Y'all know plecos are really good out of water. I mean, they could literally be out of water for how long? You've seen some on the banks yeah, of ponds for definitely. like hours, days, I'm not even kidding. And that's why they're so hardy, they live through anything, literally. God, an absolute dinosaur. Beast of a fish. These are the lips that were sucking the paint right off. These little I mean, suckers. Oh, it kind of feels kind of cool. Looks familiar. All right, there. Your pain sucking days are over, boy. Roll it. Dude, it's actually pretty good. Get all that air. Wrap this sucker up. I could work at a dang aquarium shop. Look at that. We are here at Predatory Fins, and I just want to start off with showing you this tank. This is cool. Look at all the plecos on a piece of wood. I mean, doesn't that just look sick? That's the most plecos I've ever seen on a piece of wood in my life. They're all over the bottom too, and then you got a little peacock right here. Y'all know the gist of predatory fins, I mean, the stickers explain it, get a piece of extreme in your tank. They don't mess around around here. The fish are crazy. Every species you could think of. The red aquarium, this thing is super cool. All red, red sand, and this phantom red tail is all bloated up. Got a lot of food in his stomach. Constantly just so much going on here at all times. They're shipping out a bunch of fish. River monsters. I love the stickers on the ground. This is all new. As you can see, look, he's got more. There's a river monster for sure. And another one and a bunch more over here. What's in this tub? Absolutely nothing. Inside this is sharks. We got sharks. Nurse shark, bonnet heads, and even a cow nose red. There's the bonnet head. It literally looks like a baby hammerhead. Hey, bud. 
A bonnet is pretty much a baby hammerhead. It's not, but it is. There's the nurse and the Kano's Ray. Hey, buddy. Nurse shark is so dope. Look at that thing. Super fat. It loves to eat. Beautiful. Beautiful shark. Maybe one day in the future, your boy PC will have something like this, you know? But for now, my next goal is something like this. Then we can maybe move to that. I don't know, but hopefully YouTube will still be around. I, I mean, I don't see it going anywhere. It is the new television. I will have something like this, and I'm going to keep making videos until YouTube's gone. Phantom Red Tails, the camera turned white. There was so many. Lots of fish, Oscars, yada, 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 all sorts of stuff. I need to get my Pleco into one of these aquariums. Bye, Pleco, bud. Sure. Respect. The biggest one, Rod. Said I could pick. I want the biggest bite shirt. Huh? Yeah, you, you actually, you're gonna scoop them out and you're gonna put in that bag because it's after hours, my friend. There's one that's bigger than Rod. the other. There's one that's much bigger than the other. I think that's it. That's the big one, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> snake. The snake. Get it out of the tank, it's cold. Woo! Woo! Bye, shirt. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bike sure. Add it to the aquarium. Could not be happier. We'll see you at home. All right. We're bringing the bag over. Our bike sure. Big old bike sure. Going in. I'm going to get some better footage in the morning. Y'all know I hate filming at night. So I'm just going to pop the bag open. Simple as this. Watch our bike sure swim right into his new home. Dude! He keeps swimming back into the bag. There he goes. Can you see him down there? Yeah. Good to go. Catch up to you in the morning. Let's hop up here and see if we can find our bicher. There's no more Pleco sucking on the paint, I can tell you that, but where is our bicher? Here we go, let's scan through. There he is. He's sitting right there. I can see his head at least. He is chilling. So yeah, we got a new bicher. Hello, Willow. And where is your sister? There she is. Hello. You two. There you go. Around this pond used to be beautiful lush green grass. You know, as a matter of fact, I'll try to go back to one of my old videos that wasn't even that long ago, and I'll find a clip where the grass is nice and green. So bottom line is, these two pigs have eaten every single piece of grass. Even when I was sitting on this dock for 24 hours, I kept flashing to Willow eating the dirt. Grass, roots, you know? Look at this. Destroyed. So my plan is to get these two pigs over here. I'm gonna take a lot of these rocks, put them along this wall here, over there, over there. And once this fence is up along here, as you can see all our poster right here, we'll put the rocks on both sides, the front and the back, in order to keep these pigs inside here because you know they love to dig. Thankfully, this area used to be a tortoise enclosure, so I already have wood along the ground all around. So we got these from the store. We're just gonna literally put them in the ground, like this one right here. They're very, very sturdy. I mean, very sturdy. So it rocks on both sides in the fence right here. The fence kind of just clips on. We got 50 feet of our wiring, garden fence, and uh, this is about 33 feet. So we'll have some left over. And then after, once all this is done, they have their like house, you know, duck pond makeover. You could do this fence at home. It's definitely the most easiest, most affordable way. Literally do a loop, a circle with this right here. These are like four bucks a piece. Line them up, get a hammer. We're gonna do that. One, two, three. Seven more times. Seven, seven, eight, seven more times. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna throw you back to when we bought these things. We're gonna do this cheap way. Three, four, five, six, seven of these should work. Keep in mind, we have to fit all this in my car, which is gonna be difficult. Um, but we're gonna do it. This is really the good way to do it. I learned this at the pig rescue farm that we went to. It's actually cool. This is skinnier. Yeah, this should probably go on the bottom. Than the top, yeah, for sure. This will be our bottom here. Just like that. And we will cut it to about right here. As you can see, this is already done. We put the fence on this side of the pole right here because pigs like to push. Now the pigs can easily get out of that, right? You put the rocks between it and that's what's really gonna give it the structure of a fence. We have the fence completely done. As you can see, totally trimmed. And it's not like, I mean, it's sturdy, but a pig could easily get out of it. So we do this rock, not a chance. I highly doubt they're gonna jump on a rock and jump out of it. And if they do, those are acrobatic pigs that deserve free roam. <laughs> to be in a circus. 
Yeah. That's a cool rock. I'm trying to put the higher ones on the back side because I, I don't want them to do acrobatics and jump out of this thing. <laughs> Alright, doesn't look like I've done much, but we're getting a lot of this stuff out from over back there. All these rocks, my boy Chad's on his way. Thank you, Chad, by the way, for helping me with this. It's a lot of work. Filling in all these holes that the hogs have made. And then we're just gonna literally keep on working this rock all the way along this. And it is gonna look absolutely amazing. I mean, just right there, picture the rock keep on going. It looks amazing. Yeah, we just do that about uh, 150 more times. Look at this. So as I mentioned, rocks on both sides, fence and posts, and clearly it's keeping the pigs in. They destroyed this whole entire area already. I mean, literally I fill this water bowl up like two, three times a day and they still just empty it out to use it as mud. Hi. Maybe they'll get better with people since it's a smaller gate and I pet them more often. But we have a very busy day ahead of us. But first, before I get into the whole day, I want to show Hector actually got me something as a surprise, and it's really cool, so enjoy this. Hector, so you found this thing? I find it, yeah, and the drink, and I make it yesterday. That's sick. You can literally put the food in here. Yeah. And they'll eat right out My of it. My grandpa uh, made this one yeah? in Mexico, yeah. That is so That's dope. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, I tell you what, Hector Merch, like <laughs> I mentioned before, is on the site, is officially live. Oh, yeah. And all the, hi! And all the profits go to Puppy my man Hector, movie. so. That's sick. Oh, so it's flat too, so they can't yeah, roll it. you can roll it, yeah. That makes sense. All right, let's do this. Let's get this over to the pigs. The pigs? Probably pigs, yeah. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> Boom! The goats see the fresh palm that fell off. Every time a fresh palm comes off, it's all yours. And there they go. Sod is here, fellas. We got a lot more sod, 12 pallets of sod, to be exact, to finish up our front here where the pond used to be, and also make our duck enclosure green again. I mean, it has been something I wanted to do for the longest time, is get those pigs out of there, which we did, and make that enclosure green. This is going to be green again, and it's gonna look amazing. The challenge is, we have to get 12 pallets of sod into that enclosure. We're probably gonna have to cut the fence just like we had to cut the cow fence. There's no real good way to get it in there. It's all the way in the back of the property. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> and one more. Yee. This is all ours here. All that sod. Same exact sod as this, it's called Bahia. It's the cheapest and it's the easiest to maintain at least. It doesn't need much water. It needs like a couple good waterings when it's first laid and it'll just live through desert-like conditions. That's what we need here. That's cool. And as you can see, my uh, Sylvester palms up front are dying. So are a lot of these trees over here and that's because our irrigation broke. So now we got the irrigation guys out here doing their job. Working it up over there, almost getting attacked by cows and stuff. <laughs> and we got the well that was just dug as well, which is right there, popping up. Taylor's inside, cleaning the ferret cage. Oh! So in order for this machine to actually get into here, I have to cut the wire. Similar to what we did to the cow enclosure, if you remember. Whew! Golly! Alright, wire is cut. We have our opening here. The machine will come through. Dump off sod. And by the way, the sod is getting laid today. I didn't know they actually had a whole crew of people that are already working on the front. But I can't walk away from this spot until he starts working over here because that'll just be wide open. The ducks could just waddle right out. This will be green today. Literally, that's just so crazy to me. This is finally disappearing and turning green. <laughs> this is their new enclosure, as y'all know. Uh, I gotta get some of these rocks out, but for now, this is where they're staying. They got a little Y'all know the gist of it. Things are happening around here. When are things not happening, let's be honest, but lots going on today. Now before we get to laying sod over here, I have a couple things to say, two things. One, once the sod is laid, these ducks will no longer have to put their eggs, for instance, I just saw this and gave me the idea, on a thing of dirt, which they always crack, and you know, Pekin ducks are one of the hardest ducks to breed. So, the chances are very slim we'll have babies in general. But when there was grass, if you remember, the Pekins used to bury their eggs in the grass. They'll be able to do that again. Two, with all the pallets that come from these sod, we are gonna stack up right here, 
And with those pallets, we're gonna make a palace for our ducks. We're gonna make like a really cool overhanging housing for the ducks over there in the back corner. That or probably maybe over here. These are all videos to come, so if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, smash the like button, and these are things that you will see. Here it comes. The first thing is sod. This is gonna be a maneuver. Like, this guy's got some talent to make this turn and put that big old machine between these two posts here, so it's gonna make it happen. That machine is then gonna have to squeeze its way through this right here. Hopefully that doesn't collapse when the machine goes in the water, that would cost me a lot of money. But then he'll start dropping the pallets from the back and drop them all the way to the front. Then the three guys that are laying sod in the front right now will come over here and start laying grass over here as well. <laughs> wow. Talk about close, but done. Look at the little bits of grass growing already in just like the four days that the pigs are out of here. This is good, this ain't collapsing. Strong bank holding that machine up. Oh yeah. And then to put it down, they go right back out and do that a bunch more times. So you get the gist of it, I just wanted to film it once. I'm not gonna board you by filming that 20 times. That's how it's gonna be done. They will then grab a piece of saw just like this, and boom, it'll grow. Look at all the ducks. They're all so happy. Hey buddies, you got grass now. And this behaya actually came very nice and green. I mean, nicer than normal. It usually comes like half dead and it looks really good. These ducks are just living it up right now. We finally have somewhere to just relax, lay into, and like, you know, like a mattress, you know? It's just they could lay into it. The dirt was all just rock solid hard. Almost done, we literally just got like the back side right there and then over here. But this is all green. Well, here we go. The whole front is done. I'm gonna have to do some like white gravel throughout here instead of this old mulch. Some more white gravel over here. But the duck enclosure, it's all finished. I've been out here for like an hour putting my fence back together over here. But I mean, look at this. It is all green again. And all the ducks are loving it. But I mean, it is just so beautiful. It's not even like, you know, rooted down yet. So it's going to get a lot more green. And in the back here, a bunch of hibiscus. Y'all know what these look like when they're grown and they have flowers. They're, they're really pretty. They've been sitting in the corner on their, in their pots for a long time. Finally put them to use, so I put two here. One, two, three here. One, two, three here. So all these are gonna get big green, big leaves with flowers on them. They're gonna look beautiful in the back here. I do need to get maybe a couple more over there. But that's gonna be a dope backdrop once those all grow. And we have completed this enclosure. We're gonna get some cooler plants too. I think I wanna plan on getting maybe a, a big tree right here. Like a, a big old tree. Right there, it would provide a lot of shade for the ducks and not that they don't have enough already as you can see, but I want some more landscape around the house. I stood right here and I showed you what it looked like before. And now here is that. So much better. We're back, that's that. Caferos, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was all over the place kinda, but we did a lot in it. Smash the like button, hit that like button. Let's see if we can hit 20,000 likes. And the babies are all kinda sleeping on the shavings. I just wanted to update you guys on them, because I know that was my last video and you're probably wondering. They're good. We are, oh, Gary, stop. We are watering the grass. We water this side, and then I kinda flip it and I start watering over here. As long as we water it all consistently for the next couple of days, we'll be good. <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch. It is about dang time that we got this done. I mean, come on now. Subscribe down below if you're new. 
I love you. And um, see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>